and let me start with the spiritual and i hope what you say today is also addressed to the skeptics i count myself among a skeptic who if told that another human being possesses some sort of godly power i would perhaps as the first instinct not believe it but what i find interesting about what you some of your sayings is captured by arudhati subramaniam in this book is it you're actually saying that what we experience beyond our five senses anything that we experience beyond the five senses can be called god can be called power or can be called yourself so if god doesn't necessarily exist why do we need gurus why do we need sadguru <laughs> Do you drive in Delhi? Do I drive? Mm -hmm. Unlike you, <laughs> I have a fear of wheels. <laughs> so if you drive in an unknown terrain, yes. you use uh, these days a GPS. Yes. Usually a strange woman will tell you, turn right, you yes. turn right. She says, turn left, you said turn left. <laughs> She says, make a U-turn, you make a U-turn. Why? Simply because you're… you're not familiar with the terrain. When you are in an unfamiliar terrain, it is sensible to take instructions. <laughs> so, are you… are you saying gurus are the new GPS? <laughs> not new, not new. Long time ago we've been, <laughs> for a very long time, way before the GPS came. GPS means what? Guru positioning system <laughs> But, you know, I have to say that while I don't drive, I've often sat in a car and heard that girl's voice on Google Maps. And often Google Maps does actually, not… does not actually, give you the right advice. You can change it to a man's voice if you wish. Okay. 